Hey guys, Sean here, Mostly Metal. Uh, it was close to the end of the month, or beginning of the month, so I thought I'd just shoot my April um, tote unboxing too. Uh, for those that don't know, haven't seen the videos, I have a tote down here, a bunch of metal stuff. This is kind of like my take on the metalhead box, um, where I'm just pulling shit out randomly. Catalogs, t-shirts, flyers, God knows what else. I actually think all the t-shirts are gone, but... Um, Still listening to Lamp and Murmur in the back. For those that didn't see my previous video, shout out to DHL for bending the ever-living piss out of this when it arrived. Um, love this album. I'm glad I finally got my hands, my mitts, um, on it. Uh, and again, the bend doesn't bother me that much, but it's like getting a new car. As I said in my other video, it's get a new car, you get a ding first day, you're like, fuck, even though you're going to get a ding, whatever. I'll live. Um, so I was going through my metalhead box, and I pulled out a stack here of goodies. I don't know, I think these are all flyers, so I'm just going to fly through some of these and see what the deal is. If I know anything about them, I will let you know. This one's really cool, though. <clears throat> this is uh, an old... I don't know if I kept it for this side. This is an old Malevolent Creation um, Eternal poster from um, Pavement. You can see down at the bottom there, it says Pavement Records. But on the other side, there's a Pit Heaving Warfare, Internal Bleeding. Um, I mentioned these guys, also they were on Pavement. Um, pretty sure these guys are out of New York. This was the first band I ever saw live where the pit and the band all moved in unison with music and it was just that slamming um, palm muted E type stuff where there, there were some blast beats and then they would do that slow chug and the bounce and that was where I first heard what I, I guess people consider slam. I, I hate that term. Um, but I have an internal bleeding EP somewhere. Uh, I think it was Voracious Contempt. Yeah, that's the advertisement for this. If you see the bottom there. Uh, but these were common. You could see, you would see these hang up at record stores. They would leave this part blank. Um, if they were coming to your town, this would be up in a record store, and they would put like the date and where they were playing and the cost um, of the ticket on this side. This other side is just more of an advertisement for a bank, for an album. So, I didn't know I kept this. Um, big Malevolent Creation fan, too. I got to see them live once. It was pretty funny. They, The first death metal band I saw that kind of tongue-in-cheek where they, I think it was Milwaukee Metal Fest, where they played and they were, you know, it was all brutal <clears throat> and everything, and they were talking about eating, uh, it might have been eating a dead body or a cadaver or I don't know what. And then as a joke, they had a bunch of plasticware, and they threw the plasticware out at the, the crowd and was like, go eat some cadavers or something like that. It's a bunch of forks and knives, but it was funny. Um, so first up, oh wow, this is a, a flyer. I don't know where I got this, obviously, but this is a uh, from Flotsam and Jetsam. This is an old, old flyer type thing with, uh, there's, oops, picture of them, and the back is, ask, you know, join our fan club, win a free guitar, um, you get t-shirts, they had email, how about that, um, looks like they didn't have a website yet, there was a www with no website, um, they had AOL email address, so. Um, and it's interior days with Megadeth, Corn, and Fear Factory. So I probably I saw them live. That's where I got this because I did see that tour. Um, wasn't a great tour, by the way. Um, but yeah, that's where I picked this up. Very cool. Next up, just a little advertisement for Pit Magazine. Great, uh, it was great heavy metal magazine there for a while. Uh, this is a flyer orgy with pigs. Not a fucking clue what this is all about, but I probably got it because the lady. Um, orgy, orgy with pigs. If anyone knows orgy with pigs, let me know. 
there's a shit ton here, so I'm just gonna fly through these unless I know. Um, Metal Mania 10 advertisement. This is one with Megadeth, Typo, UFO. I don't think UFO played. I don't. I can't remember though. But and then the back was a Milwaukee Music Man 10th anniversary show. Um, I saw this version of Milwaukee Metal Fest, but um, I don't remember. Like I said, UFO. But I remember Typo very well. Fear Factory, Flotsam and Jetsam. I remember this because they were playing a few days later near where I lived, so I saw them at the Milwaukee Metal Fest, and then uh, a few days later, I saw them at home. Um, stage 3 promotions from... Looks like this is a... Present this. Welcome to the Milwaukee Metal Fest. This coupon is worth $2 off your next order. So a lot of uh, places would throw these out um, at fests and stuff and say, hey, here's a coupon. Um, if you use this, um, you have to spend so much money and you get some money off of your next purchase. Check these dudes out. Um, I don't know, hardcore Groove Dunwich style. Look for our new CD. Curious? Um, well, if anyone knows who that is, let me know. But I, it wasn't curious enough for me to buy their CD. Um, they look pretty young, actually. Who knows? Anybody know who that is? No idea. Not a great flyer. Hardcore Groove, comma, Dunwich style, different font. Are you curious? You're going to have to sell yourself a little bit better than that if you want people to buy your CD. Ah, well, this is cool. This is an old Lividity flyer. Rejoice in Morbidity. Lividity. 1996. That was in Champaign, Illinois. At six feet under. I don't remember that venue. Um, come soak torture grind. So lividity, deaden, and corpse vomit. Um, I remember lividity. Obviously, they're still around. Deaden as well. I have a demo cassette. Deadin, so I'll show that another time to go through my cassettes. I like Deadin a lot. The video is pretty good. The gore grind, the porn, I don't call it porno grind. It's not what it is, but it's, some of the lyrics are just over the top, but that's kind of the point. So I don't think I went to this show. I may have grabbed it at another show, but that's pretty cool. That's a blast from the past. There. That's a 25-year-old Lividity flyer, so pretty cool. Um, Two-Faced Hate. Milwaukee Metal Fest, don't miss Two-Faced Hate. I remember the um, the name of the band, Two-Faced Hate, but I don't remember them specifically. Um, I'm thinking a lot of these are from Metal Fest, where people just hand out stuff. Atron, I did not see them live, I don't think. Hell Shall Prevail, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give Devil to Pray, this stuff is kind of funny now that I think about it. But, no, I did not see them. Um, Satan is Lord. Hail Satan. I mean, come on. Kind of ridiculous. But at the time, this was like the, the shocking stuff to do, right? Pretty cool flyer, though. Let's see. Are you a dopehead? If so, check out Denver's most stone reggae death punk funk band. Guaranteed to twist your mind. If anyone's heard of Dopehead, but there you go. Vindiction. Not a clue who they are, but old school flyer. Sex Pistols and Gravity Kills in Goldfinger advertisement. A lot of times, the Eagles Club is where the Milwaukee Metal Fest was. And I would grab these little flyers of upcoming shows just to keep them. I can't believe I kept them. Here's another Pit Magazine advertisement. Uh, Metal Blade. This is a prefix. Metal Blade's on the web now. Uh, these were little postcards they would put out. Coming soon. Sacred Right Heel. We're not afraid to say Metal Galactic Cowboys. I remember that band. I was not a fan of Galactic Cowboys. I don't remember. I, thought, I think it was the name more than anything. It's just kind of cheesy. 
Uh, and there's a tattoo advertisement. You guys probably don't care about that. I'll try to keep it music related if I can. Um, Death Grooves, a total new sound. Mortality on Napalm Records. That's an early Napalm Records flyer there. Super old. Not familiar with Mortality, though. Napalm Records, I wonder if it's the same one out of Denver, Colorado. And I was like, the, the bottom, of, you hear me talk about the catalogs, it was like, send only one dollar for a mail order catalog, so I would send them a dollar and get catalog them. Um, I remember this advertisement for the band Last Supper, but I don't think I ever checked them out. Looks like a hardcore summer. They're based on the, you know, the uh, jumping in unison type thing on Mosh Pit Records. Uh, here's an old Beware flyer about racists are infiltrating your scene. Resistance Records is a Nazi label trying to recruit foot soldiers for the metal music scene. And Resistance owner George Birdie thinks metalheads are easy targets. Don't be fooled. I don't remember anything about Resistance Records or if this is true or not, but it was part of my collection, so there you go. Ah, this is a mute. Typo negative. October Rust, great album. Available everywhere August 20th. I'm a, a huge typo negative. Granted, my girlfriend's girlfriend's kind of cheesy, but they kind of knew what they were doing at the time, so uh, glad I kept these. 1996 was when that came out, so that's 20, 25 years old. Time is flying. Um, here's a old flyer um, these guys were at the Milwaukee Metal Fest Sadistic Intent in 1996 and then on the back there was Dark Realm Records uh, LA's only real death black metal shop I never made my made my way out to LA but um, there was a place in Chicago that used to be all metal and I can't remember the name of it for the life of me I think it shut down though it's great there's an old, <laughs> this flyer's seen better days, um, Social D reissues, probably hard to see because it's been stomped on, and then uh, the Vandals, an old uh, Vandals advertisement, Peace Through Vandalism and Win in Rome, both great albums, if you're a fan of uh, the old fun punk rock days. I'll do a couple more here. Um, that's another social D one. No need to see that. Don't, don't need two of those, dude. Uh, a couple more here. Burnt Never Ends. Out of St. Louis, Missouri. No clue. Huh. Uh, this band was on Pavement as well from Sweden. B-Thong. Um, I don't remember this band, B-Thong. Maybe you guys do. Again, I was probably drawn away from it by the, the name of the band and the album cover, but they were on pavement, so they couldn't have been all bad. Maniacal Mailman out of New York. Just a, a catalog uh, in a mail order form if you wanted to order some stuff. Very limited supply there, so probably why I never ordered. Two more. Uh, this is a band from... This is an advertisement from Moribund Records. This is an advertisement for the band Cremation. Don't know if anybody's familiar with Cremation. I am not. Uh, Moribund was... That's uh, Milwaukee Metal Fest is where I first discovered Moribund. And then last but not least... Demonic Christ Flyer. Demo number one, still available out of Charlotte, North Carolina. So that's it, guys, for March. I still have a whole big old stack of flyers here. I mean, it's kind of fun going through some of these because I didn't even know I kept all these. So if you know any of the bands in some of these that I'm showing that I'm not familiar with, just let me know. I'm curious to go back dig and see if I can find any music um, from some of these bands. So thanks for watching, and have a good one. I'll catch you all soon. Later.